Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing okay. Today I have a, a review, our three month review of the Aragon Malmstrom Bronze Diver that I got three months ago. Uh, it was actually my first um, micro brand per se to buy new and uh, my first bronze as well. And um, actually, I had a lot, a lot of fun in the last three months. There are a couple of stuff that I didn't like, like the misalignment and the, as you can see, it's a bit misaligned for OCDs like me. I'm pretty adamant about it, but I really love the case. I really love the shape, the size, the motif on the case back. The color of the dial it would have been nice to have instead of printed a little bit of depth maybe applied looms or something like that uh, the movement is pretty good we'll show you after that on the time grapher as you can see i to show you goes well it jumps also well dial is pretty nice and I really like that the blue dial yeah jumps pretty nice sometimes the second hand jumps but not always other than that I really like the watch the watch actually came with a rubber strap and a leather strap the leather strap uh, Got a little bit cracked from a couple of times usage, but the rubber strap is pretty nice. But I actually put on this Gaucho strap, and I was actually using it also on this uh, canvas strap, which looked pretty nice, which I will be showing to you later on. And uh, for the loom, it has a nice loom, but doesn't last that much doesn't last that much unfortunately but that has a nice loom when you're out and about in the sun it looks not so bad and with the strap it looks really nice um, I'm wearing my G-Shock by the way always when I'm at home I'm wearing either this one this G-Shock or the other one so I just put on the other strap so here we go the Aragon Malstrom diver with a canvas. Why canvas actually looks pretty nice on the on the wrist? Let me just close this. Make it easier. Doesn't look so bad, right? I really like the grey with the blue dial. There's a nice contrast. So let's bring the time grapher and let's see how the watch is holding up. As you can see, it actually is doing pretty decent. It was plus 3, plus 7, plus 9, 0 0.1 millisecond beat rate, 330 amplitude. So it runs around 28. I'll try to focus more on that. Yeah, here we go. Six seconds. So, I'll flip back over to give you my last couple of words around the purchase, the watch, and the bronze, the bronze case, which my first as well, and as well as the first micro brand. So, last couple of words around this watch. I bought it, it was around 300, 300 something with the, with the import taxes. Uh, and I'm actually really happy with it. I had so much fun with it, aside with the misaligned bezel ring. And with the problem, it once popped out the, the, the crown with the stem, I put it back in. Other than that, watch working pretty well doing its job. I use it, sometimes I wear it to change between 
if I had it like a couple of days before and it's still working, I wear it at home sometimes. But I usually wear my G-Shocks because they're always uh, synced up to the real time, correct time. So I, I actually, if you're into buying a bronze watch then, and you're not wanting to get something high end, I would recommend getting something like this. I don't, I, I didn't have any other bronze watches, so I couldn't compare it to any of them. So uh, take it with a grain of salt, but I, I actually like this watch. Um, I, I maybe tinker with it in the next couple of months, maybe try force patina, stuff like that. Just, just see how it goes, how the color will fade with maybe putting some, some kind of salts on it, some kind of seawater. Let's see. Anyways, if you have any questions about this watch or any other watch, comments, please leave them down below. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe and like. Have a great one. Bye-bye.